Welcome to today's devotion from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. I am Pastor Tim Gerbing. Today, uh, we take a look at the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, starting at verse 25. Uh, we'll read verses 25 and 26, and then I'm going to jump down to verses 28 to 30. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As you read Matthew chapter 11, you come to see that Jesus was having one of those days when nothing goes exactly as he hoped. You know, the kind of day when staying in bed would have been maybe a better option. The kind of day when the only words spoken to you are were critical or sarcastic. You know, first of all, some of John the Baptist's disciples came to Jesus after they had visited John in prison, and they had a question from John for Jesus. And the question was, Jesus, are you really the one? Are you really the Messiah that we're supposed to wait for? Not a question Je Jesus would want to hear, especially from John. As Jesus made his way into the next town, it seems he noticed a group of kids playing and he saw their energy and their laughter. But none paid any attention to Jesus and his group. Everywhere he went these days, it seemed that people were more occupied with their own games and agendas. That Jesus really didn't matter much to them. Added to this was grief and sadness as Jesus remembered the many displays of his power and his miracles in the twin cities of Chorazin and Bethsaida, which sadly seemed to make no spiritual impact in those towns at all. No one responding, no one repenting. Everyone impressed, but not enough to allow his word to transform their lives. I could understand it if Jesus would have thrown in the towel and given up on doing his work for a sinful, ungrateful, unaware humanity. But Jesus does not go home, slam the door, become a couch potato, and sulk. He does not drown his sorrows and apparent failures in a bottle or pop a few pills to fall asleep and forget. Instead, he lifts his eyes heavenward to God, the source of his well-being. He draws his strength from his Father, who provides courage, power, and passion for living to give glory to him. Jesus offers this to all of us, too, when we are tired and weary ready to throw in the towel up to our necks with bad days. Those of us longing for that one break that is the difference between defeat and victory, between the business going under and the business making it, between a life that is going somewhere and a life that is stuck in a rut. All of us long for a break in the routine. And Jesus invites all of us, come and I will give you rest. What we need is to be saturated with the grace of God. We need a different burden, the yoke of Christ. His yoke provides rest for our souls that our tired and worn bodies and souls really need. After chasing after elusive dreams and the illusions of what we think is real life, to be yoked is to be connected to Christ. He is the one who's going to do the greater bulk of pulling our loads. And we could trust him to do that. Because after all, he already bore the greatest burden ever, car ever carried. And he took that burden away forever. By himself. And that burden was our sins. Amen.